Hit Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday. It's October the 2nd. Kate Goslin says she is really sad and really surprised and confused by John's statement to the media that he's had this epiphany now and he realizes that John and Kate plus eight is not good for the kids and he wants them to have a normal childhood. Well, she said that's really funny because he didn't have this epiphany until after he was axed from the show and the show's name was changed from John and Kate plus eight to just Kate plus eight and now he's suddenly had this moral revelation. In the meantime, TLC is slamming John saying they're, they're not really happy with his portrayal of them as being opportunistic and, and all these things towards the children and they are suspending taping of the show until they can have conversations with both parents. Kristen Stewart did an interview with Interview Magazine and she says that she's not really too happy with all the trappings that fame has brought her starring as Bella in the Twilight series. She says that, you know, after work she'd love to take a walk but instead she just has to go straight back to her hotel when she can't leave. She finds that very boring, boring and quite annoying in fact. She says that the two people are super digging her fame and her popularity are her parents. And I can kind of sympathize with her on this one. She says her dad's the worst. He's embarrassingly proud. You know, always lugging around magazines, articles, and pointing out his daughter to everyone. Tyson Ritter had to have surgery removing a tumor from his leg. And rather than listen to the doctors, the very same night he got up on stage with his band, the All-American Rejects, and performed to a crowd in Tampa. He's really one of those show must go on kind of guys. He had to do the show from a wheelchair with a leg brace, but apparently that really got to him and somebody knocked some sense into him. So they're going to take the rest of the month of October off so Tyson can properly heal and they'll get back together on stage again November 3rd. Last night on his show, David Letterman shocked everyone with the announcement that he was being blackmailed by, blackmailed by this guy for $2 million. He said about three weeks ago he got a package from a man saying, you know, I've got all this evidence that you've had sexual relations with female employees of your show, and I'm going to take this stuff public unless you pay up. Well, Dave admits, yeah, I had sex with these people, but I'm not paying. So he contacted the DA's office, and they set up sort of a little sting. They told Dave to go ahead and write him a phony um, $2 million check. And once the guy got it and was going to cash it, they arrested him. It turns out he is a producer for 48 hours. His name is Joe Alderman, uh, Halderman and that he was actually dating Dave Letterman's former assistant. Her name's Stephanie Burkett, and she's actually one of the women that he was having an affair with. They called off that relationship right before Dave's son Harry was born, and apparently she kept diaries and information and then was giving the, the boyfriend, I guess, you know, just pillow talk, telling him about other relationships David had, and until recently, uh, this girl had been living with a the producer. They were living together, and they broke up. So maybe it was over this whole scandal. I'm not really sure. Live Nation released a statement yesterday saying that Lady Gaga and Kanye West were canceling the Fame Kills tour. They would not give any reason. They just said, if you bought a ticket, you can go back to where you bought it and get your money back. Well, that's not good enough for all of us. We want to know what happened. Well, Kid, of course, was going to try to give Kanye the benefit of the doubt and said that um, you know when he was on Jay Leno's show a few weeks ago saying that he needed to take time off because he'd never properly dealt with the grief of losing his mother kids said well obviously that's what's happening but then I read that sources said it was because of poor ticket sales that they just were not cranking out the numbers they needed to support a huge tour like this that Lady Gaga wanted to be in smaller venues in the first place but kind of caved into uh, Kanye's demands for these big ego-sized stadiums and it just wasn't working out. So poor ticket sales. Is that the real reason the Lady Gaga Kanye West tour was canceled? I say yes. And that's your show this top five.